Hi, I'm Megan with 360 Yield Center. Today I'm going to be going over the basic operation of 360 Soil Scan. On the table here are all of the basic components that will come with your soil scan. The case, power cables, both 110 volts and 12 volt to be plugged into a cigarette lighter. Charging cables for your iPad. A cleaning container. There will be 50 Dixie cups. A bottle of standard solution. A scoop. A mixing sleeve and the calibration bottle. Also, your soil scan base. Provided with the soil scan kit will be a red reference sensor and a gray nitrate sensor. There is the optional pH sensor, which is black. That would be an additional. Additional components that you'll need to provide is an iPad. iPad 3 or newer is what will be used. Uh, you'll need some paper towels and distilled water. To use a 360 soil scan, you'll need to download the 360 soil scan app. It's this right here. And that's what will be used to run the soil scan. If you're taking your soil scan out of long-term storage, you'll need to remove the long-term storage bottles. You do this by unscrewing the bottles and then sliding them off of the sensors. It's important to note that the gray nitrate sensor is stored dry. The red reference tip is stored in nitrate solution. And the black pH sensor is stored in nitrate solution as well. Next, you'll use a calibration cup and fill it with nitrate solution. Ensure that you shake the nitrate solution before putting it in the cup. Place the calibration cup underneath the sensors. The sensors will need to soak at least 15 to 20 minutes. If they're having trouble calibrating, let them soak up to 24 hours. Before starting for the day, ensure that you have enough distilled water in the tank and enough distilled water to last you throughout the day. While the sensors are soaking, we're going to go ahead and apply power to the soil scan. I'm going to use a wall plug-in to apply power. Remember that you also can use a cigarette lighter in a vehicle. To turn on the soil scan, flip the switch beside the plug-in. It will illuminate red when on. Your iPad can be placed in the iPad mount and plugged in using the provided cable. This will keep your iPad charged throughout the operation. While the sensors are soaking, we're going to go ahead and pair our uh, iPad with the soil scan. So when you open the app, this is the first page you'll see. Select Accept and Get Started. And wait while your iPad finds the soil scan. The serial number that you see on the app here is on the back of the soil scan. Simply select pair. Before using the soil scan, you'll want to purge the system to ensure that there is distilled water throughout the lines. To do this, get an empty Dixie cup, place it under the mixing rod, and select purge distilled water. The system will run allowing distilled water to run throughout it. The soil scan app provides step-by-step -step instructions. Simply follow the on-screen instructions. After purging the water, we are soaking our sensors. So just select soak sensors. When the sensors have soaked at least 15 to 20 minutes, you can start the calibration by simply selecting next step calibrate sensor. When calibrating the sensors, ensure that they are always in the nitrate solution. This calibration process must be done at least every 24 hours. It is recommended to replace the red reference sensor and the gray nitrate sensor every year. If the sensors are having problems calibrating, there's a couple steps that you can take. 
Allow the sensors to soak in the nitrate solution a while longer, up to 24 hours if need be. Ensure that the sensors have a good connection. You can do this by unscrewing the sensor and using a paper clip to pull the tab down to ensure that the tip of that sensor is in good connection with the tab. You will also want to ensure that you have fresh nitrate solution. Nitrate solution stored from the previous year without ever having been opened is good to use. However, if it's an open bottle, bottle, you will need to replace it. Now that the sensors have calibrated, we can get started mixing dirt. You will use two level scoops and place them into a Dixie cup. You want to ensure that your dirt is evenly mixed and uniform. Ensure your soil is broken up into small pieces so the mixing rod can mix it into a slurry with the distilled water. Use the mixing sleeve and place the soil underneath the mixing rod. Then you'll select next step mix soil. During this step, you want to ensure that you leave your sensors in the nitrate solution in the calibration bottle. While the soil is being mixed, the sensors will calibrate again. At this time, you can go ahead and start entering your data. On the left side of the screen, you can select your farmer, you select add, and type in the name. You can select a farm, a field, and field analysis. You'll also want to give your sample a number. The depth is the depth of the sample that you took. If you probe 12 inches deep, then you would put 12 here. The core length is going to be how much of that that you used. So in this case, we'll say that we used all 12 inches of that sample. You can also enter any notes that you have. If you have hard soil, you may want to use the extended mix time function just by selecting on. This will allow the mixer additional time to mix the soil with the distilled water to make a slurry. When the mixer is completed mixing, the next page will say start reading. What you need to do is remove the mixing cup and ensure that all of the soil has been mixed well together. I use the handle of the soil scoop. This will ensure that you get an accurate reading. Next, you will remove the calibration bottle. And you'll want to spray off the sensors. This is distilled water in the cleaning bottle. You only, you only ever want to use distilled water when cleaning the sensors. After rinsing the sensors off with the distilled water, you'll put your slurry mix underneath the sensors and select start reading. The sensors will continue reading the slurry until they get 10 of the same reading and then it will be done. While it is reading that slurry, if you're going to be doing another sample, you'll want to clean your mixing rod. It is important to clean the mixing rod and the sensors between every sample. Use distilled water when cleaning. When the soil scan has completed its analysis, you'll see parts per million and your pH levels. So for this soil that I was testing, it's 25 parts per million and 6.3 pH. At this point, if you have more samples to test, you can select test another sample and this data will be saved under the name and the sample number that you gave it. If you're done for the day and want to calculate the end that is needed, select calculate end needed. Here is where you will estimate the additional end that you will need for your field. So first you're going to enter your yield potential.
and any organic matter that you have. Then you will select the growth stage from when the sample is taken. If this sample was taken when the corn was at V6, you would need 94 pounds of N per acre. If it was at V9, you would need 64. Once you have calculated the estimate N needed, you can export your results or select done and it will save them. To export, you'll select the export button and can email the results to yourself. It's important to note that you need to have email set up on your iPad for this function to work. The export will show your sample taken and the estimated N needed, and then you're able to email it to whoever you'd like. If you did not calculate N needed at the time of taking the sample, you can find that sample by going to All Results and finding the farmer that you had saved it under. So here I had dealer training and sample number one. Every sample that you take under the farmer, for me it was dealer training, would be under this tab here. And then you can simply select Calculate N Needed and you'll be taken to the same page. You can export all of the results from the same farmer by selecting export next to their name and emailing it, same as you did before. After you finish analyzing each soil sample, you want to ensure that you clean the sensors very well. Use distilled water and ensure when cleaning the sensors that you only blot. You want to be careful for the sensor tips. If you're going to be using your soil scan within the next 24 hours, place your sensors in the calibration cup with the nitrate solution to soak. If you're putting your soil scan away for the year, you'll want to put them into long-term storage. The gray nitrate sensor will be stored dry. The red reference sensor and the black pH sensor will both be stored with solution. Each of the bottles outline this on them. Place nitrate solution in the reference tip long-term storage bottle and the pH sensor long-term storage bottle. To put these bottles on the sensor, you want to unscrew the cap a little bit. And slide them onto the sensor and tighten the cap. Parts you'll want to replace every year are the gray nitrate sensor and the red reference tip. You also want to get new nitrate solution every year. Other replaceable components include the motor, the pump, and any of the tools that you see on the table, including the power cables. Those will only need to be replaced as needed. When putting away your soil scan for long-term storage, such as over the winter, you want to ensure that it's stored in mild temperature room. 60 to 80 degrees is preferred. Also ensure to remove all distilled water from the system and purge the pump. The pump can be stored dry. You'll want to store your nitrate solution, any unopened bottles, the same as you would your soil scan. By following these basic operation instructions and storage tips, you will get the best use out of your soil scan. For additional information, such as pulling soil samples, refer to the support page at 360yieldcenter.com. <laughs> <laughs>